Uh, it's not from Rahim. Hello everyone, this is another uh, this most structured tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform an adaptive pushover analysis. Uh, an adaptive pushover analysis is actually a technique in which the effects of higher moths and change of dynamic properties are considered. In conventional, just yes, we will consider the first mode shape, but uh, in adaptive, we will consider the uh, higher modes like third, second, uh, fourth, fifth modes. Uh, here is a small two article, and uh, they use the 2D structure. This 2D structure utilized uh, SAP, but the result is quite similar so uh, I'm not agree with this because uh, when you consider the first mode in both analysis this is okay so the result will not be changed but in using third second mode so and um, so that, that, that the result will be significant because in the second and third mode the time period of the structure and the mass uh, the center of mass will be changed so when you're pushing the structure when the mass is uh, location is uh, different so uh, obviously there will be very significant change in the response uh, here is also another research another conference paper you can see uh, and this is some differences in this result which is uh, maybe acceptable and also you have uh, a plenty choice to uh, see uh, what parameters can affect this analysis and you can come to the uh, system structure software develop system and you can see what's uh, adaptive pushover and uh, which parameter it should uh, change and everything you can see but uh, mostly in the 2d uh, in the 2d structure there is not a significant uh, difference so uh, now we will jump into this structure and want to perform a very simple structure uh, using uh, adaptive pushover analysis so I use a 2d um, and using a still structure and the same uh, base as I uh, giving in the default and I want to change the static adaptive pushover here is called uh, a loading type but when you go to the static adaptive so it will reappear because some uh, you cannot uh, giving the electrical the loads uh, in a unit in a in a triangle or shape or uh, triangular distribution so we can consider this is it okay and the second difference is it automatically required a displacement should be distributed across the structure but the later you have uh, you can change this uh, you can change this um, nominal displacement to the force displacement into the force so let me let's suppose we have a nominal displacement uh, that the structure should resist this one uh, in the in the vertical so it automatically we can go to apply and it's distributed we can uh, uh, we can uh, distribute this manually list you can get this one 10 and uh, 15 and 20 that's also okay so we can keep it uh, as it is this is the first floor and this is the second floor and this is the third floor we uh, keep in this be maximum in the first floor first node second mode, node third node as it is and we come to the target displacement target displacement applied load loading phase in here which is the pushover we want to perform the adaptive pushover using 50 steps and the maximum displacement is 0 0.80 or 80 centimeters we can change this to 20 and also we can increase that steps but uh, this uh, maximum 20 which each uh, step is almost 0 0.5 milli, which is okay, which is quite acceptable or reasonable. Now, what we're gonna do is we have some uh, uh, parameters in the 
adaptive pushover to change. <coughs> you can uh, you can increase this period of time, or you can reduce this period of time, which means in in higher mode we have a very <coughs> the time period is larger, and you can consider it. So why we use, we have this one in the conventional uh, pushover analysis, we do not have this one. And you can come to here and you can change some parameters, especially incremental updating uh, parameters and also the combination, <coughs> model combination. So I'm gonna OK as a default, OK. And I wanna go to run the analysis uh, with this structure. So I'm gonna run it. It asks me to save, so I'm gonna save it, push over, adaptive push over, and it is starting to uh, solve the program, the problems. So now the 15 uh, increment is completed and it's all converged, and you can see the response, the performance. So this is reached A, B, C, and we're gonna go to the post processing. When you come to the post processing, you have the uh, the output. Let's go to the output 15. In each time period, which is first mode and 10 mode, you have different formation. Let's considering the first one. This is the first one, and you can come to the second one, and you can see the response in each mode. So it means no convention uh, variance made in the any of the eigenvalues so the final one is in 22 so the program automatically utilized all these uh, all this mode shape until 22 uh, but the uh, such uh, thing is not available to the conventional so the conventional will be the first mode shape which is taking the first mode shape to end so when it comes to end and there is no Again, value convergence. So this was the another uh, differences. So we're gonna go to the uh, target displacement, and we want to see the target displacement is like this. Yeah, so the structure is quite in elastic and plastic mode. So there is no uh, much more uh, other failure or criteria. We're gonna go into the performance criteria check. You can. Uh, can select here yield such as yield and you can go to the, the maximum so it means some of the element is reached and some element here is no, not reached but when we go to the fracture so in the end which is the last one so there is not reached if you do this uh, if you do the same things with a conventional and I'm sure that you will reach the fracture so uh, uh, like this you can uh, see the convergence and the global ref uh, response of each node is going to be here the displacement and it's quite elastic if you do this in uh, in the conventional so that will be plastic because uh, uh, we use um, multi modes shape during the uh, pushover analysis but in in the uh, conventional we just use one single um, the first mode shape and the structure will give show the response based on that so uh, so this is the end of the tutorial if you have any question please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time